Next we'll go over cholesterol and lipid panels. I'm sure you guys are very well familiar with this. You know, you want to keep your triglycerides low. Normal is 30 to 150. Um, you know, want to keep your total cholesterol below 200. Uh, your HDLs, which is considered uh, your good cholesterol, um, above 60. Uh, HDLs are what transport the cholesterol from the arteries and other areas of the body to the liver. That way it can be excreted in the bile. So you want to keep these high. Um, also your LDLs, you want it below 130. Um, you know, the lower the better with LDLs because all LDLs do is just transport cholesterol and fat into the arteries and clog them up. So keep that as low as possible. Let's go so we'll go over some other random uh, lab values here. We got your lactate, which is uh, 0.5 to 2.2. Um, the lactic, lactate, or also called lactic acid, is a product of pyruvate. Um, pyruvate is used during anaerobic metabolism or respiration. So if you ever um, you know, go to the gym to work out, you're often uh, pretty sore afterwards, you know, maybe for a day or two afterwards. That's because while you worked out, you, your, body, your muscles were not getting all the oxygen they required. So they had to resort to anaerobic respiration. And um, this causes the lactic acid buildup in the, in the muscles. So lactic acid is just a byproduct. But during cases of sepsis, if you have a very bad infection, um, your, your vessels tend to dilate and your blood pressure goes down. So uh, your organs are not getting enough perfusion from the blood and it will not be getting enough oxygen. So we will check a lactate level to kind of confirm this, to see the, to confirm that um, your organs aren't getting enough oxygen and um, are using, you know, resorting to anaerobic respiration as a form of energy. Next you got your hemoglobin A1C. Now normal is about 3.9 to 6. Um, for, your, for the diabetics, the goal is always good to get below 7%. Now that's according to the ADA, American Diabetic Association. Now if you ask the American Association of Clinical Endocrinologists, um, you know, they say they, they, say they want it below 6.5%. And I tend to agree with them. You know, the lower the better for our diabetics that will decrease uh, the risks of long-term complications, whether it's uh, retinal complications, uh, uh, neuropathy, uh, microvascular complications. So we want to keep that as low as possible. Your TSH, your thyroid simulated hormone, um, this is going to be about 0.35 to 4.94, give or take, depending on uh, what you learned in school or what institution you work at. Um, you know, this is very important in helping diagnose certain type, you know, what type of hypo or hyperthyroidism a person has and what the cause is. Um, this needs to be looked at in combination with the free T4 and the free T3. Now, the T3 is a, just a pro hormone that is activated by TSH and turn into T4. T4 is what you, does the work in your body. So, um, you know, I could do a whole lecture on these three lab values and what they mean, you know, if the TSH is low and the T3 and T4 are high, what is it? Um, if the vice versa is true, what's hot, what, what, uh, what's the cause? So I'm not going to get deep into that because that's, uh, you're not expected to be diagnosed with this kind of thing. Uh, next you got your uric acid. Uh, uric acid is just a product of purine catabolism. Um, it's, uh, when it's elevated, it's indicative of gout. Um, so if you suspect gout, you got swollen joints, uh, often a uric acid level will be checked. And um, it's um, really all you need to, uh, to get a diagnosis of gout. Next you got your ESR, which is uh, we want below 20. This stands for your erythrocyte sedimentation rate. Um, basically, it, it, all it is is the rate of which blood, red blood cells settle in the plasma. Um, that sounds kind of weird, but um, really what, what, it's, what it tells us is it's a non-specific marker of chronic inflammation. So it can be elevated in uh, cases of rheumatoid arthritis, uh, lupus, and multiple myeloma. Um, it's, it's usually systemic inflammation. Next you got your amylase, which is 25 to 120, and your lipase, which is 60 to 160. Um, these are just pancreatic enzymes used in the, in the, in the digestion of nutrients. So uh, normally in the blood, these will be very low because your pancreas is going to release these into the intestine. Now in cases of uh, pancreatitis, um, these serum levels will go up and uh, you know because they're not supposed to be in the serum, but uh, when you have a pancreatic infection, a lot of bad things happen. So um, um, next we have ammonia. Now ammonia should always be very low. That's uh, ammonia is normally 10 to 80. Um, 
when you have an elevated ammonia, you, you, people you tend to have uh, tend to get a little get a little crazy, a little goofy, um, and um, show signs of an, and some sort of encephalopathy. Um, and ammonia is often elevated uh, during times of liver failure. Um, I haven't really seen any other any other causes of ammonia, at least in my clinical experience. But uh, when there is a a really high ammonia level, then it's you can usually look at the patient and uh, and and know why. Iron, um, there's two values listed there, just like hemoglobin, hematocrit. Um, when you know the higher one is for men, the lower range is for women. Um, iron is used in hemoglobin or to help to help form hemoglobin. Um, so iron is when it is low, it's often due to an iron deficiency in the diet. Now this is very rare in Western countries. But uh, it's a little more common in, um, in developing countries, um, a place like India, where a lot of the population is vegan or vegetarian, um, but not something you'll see much in the United States. Now, this concludes our lecture on lab values. Um, thank you for watching. If you have any questions at all, any comments, um, you can leave a comment below, or you can feel free to email me at any time at ben at hltcorp.com. Feel free to visit our website at inclicksmastery.com and uh, go to the App Store, the Google or, and, or Apple App Store, and search Inclicks Mastery. You can uh, download it for free and check it out. Thank you.